family, welcome to another episode of The Urban Mystic right here in the garden. I'm Skip Jennings, I'm your spiritual inspirational teacher right here. So this is a great month, it is my birthday month, so we're just hanging out, we're doing some self-healing. And what are we self-healing? Our emotions, our minds, our perception, our thoughts, our body temples. This is the time that we begin to nurture ourselves so that we may help the planet to nurture. See, I believe that transformation starts right where you are at home or in your office or wherever you're watching this and it spreads abroad. So we're healing, we're activating healing upon this planet today, right now. So let's talk about some key words. We're in the self mastery week. First week was blocked, second week was action plan. This week is about mastering yourself. And what does self mastery really means? It means living your highest potential. It's going for it big. Being bigger than you ever thought. Living greater than the vision. So let's do it. First key word we're going to talk about is milk. And I'm going to give you an idea about milk. Who drinks milk most of the time? Think about it. Babies babies. That's how we nurture ourselves. So let's move from the milk and get into the meat. And here's the vegetarian talking about meat. So the milk is those little baby steps you've been taking. I'm just going to give you that visual like a little baby. The meat of the practice is getting deep into the no bull practice. You're going forward. You're releasing those old habits and you're diving deep and you're surrendering. You're surrendering your life to the universe. You're sort of surrendering your life to God saying, okay, bring it on. I'm willing to do the practice so I may be more. Stop taking those baby steps. The, that time is over. Now it's time to make it big. It's time to dive into the dinner, the entree, releasing the milk and diving into the entree. Let's talk about the root chakra. Mm, the root chakra, I love the root chakra. It's a red color. The root chakra, it kind of um, keeps us anchored to this earth. It's one of the things that we kind of neglect sometimes. It is really anchoring in those things that we need on the primal level, like when we're hungry, or the message that we're tired, or when we are horny. And yes, I said horny. Taking care of those primal needs nurtures the spirit. Sometimes we become very airy fairy in the clouds, forgetting that we must learn to bring that God consciousness right here on earth. See, we don't have a strong root chakra. And I teach a lot of yoga. A lot of yoga is about anchoring that root chakra. It, we won't be able to go up su successfully through all the rest of the chakra system. That is the root. So I want you to be mastering that root chakra presence. The next word we're going to talk about is homemaking. And I love to make homes. I love to make homes. Self mastery is understanding that you must know that the space that you're living is is divine. You must take the time to Clear out the clutter. How many of us have stuff that we're just holding on to for the sake of holding on to? We must be willing to release the clutter, let it go so we can have an open experience. We must take time to make the home. When there's a home that's clear and it's beautiful and it feels right for us, our experience of God expands, our consciousness expands. Our home is a direct relationship to what we think and our spiritual relationship. Here's your last word, regeneration. Regenerate. It's time to regenerate, recover. It's time to revitalize. It's time to allow the healing to happen. How do you regenerate? Are you on the go, 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 go? Are you not taking time to do your meditation, your prayer? to do your affirmations? Are you going so hard that your head is spinning and you're spiraling out of control? It's time to regenerate. It's time to slow down. When was the last time you had a vacation? When was the last time you went away to a beach and just hung out and just mm, been with God? 
See, we can take a daily vacation every day. We can go to our secret garden every single day and have a tryst with God. Have a tryst with spirit. Being still and being quiet. And then that physical place that you go away to, where you go to the Bahamas, or you go to Hawaii, or you go to Fire Island. I'm off to Fire Island in the end of June. Around this time, I'll probably be on Fire Island on a beach, hanging out to regenerate. So I can come back and throw down again here at the Soul Garden. We must regenerate so we can bring freshness and newness to our life. So here is your seven day challenge. It's all about regeneration. It's all about recovering. It's all about revitalizing your life. If you're running on vapors, that is the love that you're giving out. If you're broken inside and your body temple is broken, how can you really, really love someone else? Self-mastery means recognizing that I need a vacation. I need to get away from the madness of LA or whatever, or the roads and just get away. Mastering yourself is saying yes to revitalizing yourself. So here is your affirmations. Just close your eyes for a moment. Breathe in deep and exhale. Mm. So our affirmation for today, just for today, just for this moment, just for this breath, I know I am one in God, therefore I am doing greater things I could ever thought I could do. Let's say that again. Just for today, just for this moment, just for this breath, I know I am one in God, therefore I'm doing greater things than I ever thought I could do. You're living above that vision. You're getting a vision that's bigger than you ever thought it could be. So my friends, remember right here in the garden, we have great practitioners that are here to help you on your walk, so check them out. Also remembering my friends that it is now time to shift your life and it starts right here. So spread the word of Soul Garden. Let people know about it. Hey, call up your friends, your family. Did you hear about Soul Garden? Give them the site, give them the link. Hopefully their life will change and it's a trickle down effect. So my friends, the change, the evolution, the transformation is happening right here, right now. It begins with you. Until next time, I'm Skip Jennings. So God.